Okay, everybody, we're going to go over uh, ketoenol tautomers. And uh, keep in mind, you got to be pretty advanced for this, not for the faint of heart. So, uh, ketones and enols. Uh, here is a ketone right here. And you can see the normal carbonyl thing we're used to seeing. Now, this is in a rapid equilibrium with an enol. So this enol is from an alkene and an alcohol is where it gets named from. Of the two, the ketone is much more represented at equilibrium than the enol is. However, the enol is what actually drives some of our reactions for the alpha carbons in, these, in this realm of chemistry. So it's present about 99% of the time. Some things may stabilize this form, like being in an aqueous solution or introducing aromaticity. Now, your book does talk about it a little, a little bit like that. But uh, the presence of an acid or base can actually drive these inner conversions. So we're going to look at those mechanisms and we'll see an animation that I learned how to make, um, which I think is pretty cool. Now, here is the acid catalyzed tautomerization. And so the first step in this and many other reactions like this is the protonation of this oxygen atom here. So uh, acid will protonate that, giving us this um, positively charged oxygen atom that is still doubly bound to this carbon. And then the conjugate base from this acid, water, will come down here and grab this hydrogen atom because it's the acidic one. And um, what that does is it kicks these electrons up into here to make a new double, double, double bond between these two carbons. And these electrons will be kicked up to the oxygen, getting rid of that positive charge. So now we have our enol tautomer and we've got the acid reform. So it's a true acid catalyst. And you can see that through the animation here, which I gotta say is pretty slick, um, that you know, we, we show the protonation and then the deprotonation of the carbon and then the formation of the double bond. So uh, that's just gonna go on and play forever. Now we can also do this with a base. So here's the written mechanism for the base catalyzed tautomerization. So the first thing that happens here is the base abstracts this hydrogen atom from the acidic carbon or the acidic alpha carbon. And uh, those electrons then will move on to the bond between carbon and carbon, forming a new double bond. The electrons will kick up to the oxygen because it's more electronegative. And now we've got the formation of a double bond and uh, this oxygen has got the negative charge will abstract the hydrogen from water, which is you know fairly acidic, to form hydroxide. And now we have our enol tautomer. Okay, and again, looking at the animation, which again, I think is pretty slick. Um, first thing that happens is we abstract the hydrogen, we form a new double bond between carbon and carbon, and then oxygen grabs onto the hydrogen from the now um, acidic base or the conjugate acid of that base. So that's kind of it. Um, that's just how these work and you'll want to be familiar with those mechanisms. So I hope that is enough information for you to go on. The chapter in your book that deals with this, I believe at 17.3, does a pretty good job.